In this video, we are going to cover optimizing tests with Appium Utils. Let's do it. Initially speaking, let us cover what is Appium Utils. Simply put, Appium Utils are centralized utilities for Android and iOS testing. They are used to streamline test code with predefined methods. And the goal of RPM Utils is to enhance our test maintainability and scalability. Now it's time to cover some iOS and Android RPM utility methods. Initially speaking, we can use getLocal, which will enable us to retrieve the local settings of our device, such as the language, the region settings. This will enable the application to behave correctly under different local configurations. Another method that we can use is get battery level. This method will return the current battery level, the charging state, which is very useful for testing our application under different battery conditions. Another method that we need to keep in mind is is dark mode enabled. This method will simply check if our device is currently set to dark mode or not. This method is critical to check if our application and the different elements inside our application are displayed correctly under different modes. Another useful method to keep in mind is get device ID, which will enable us to retrieve the unique device identifier, which is also known as UDID. This is extremely useful to distinguish between different devices that are communicating with each other in a testing lab environment. Now, how do we create a reusable method? We start by identifying some common actions in tests. Then we create the utility function for these actions. After that, we simply standardize the test operations to make sure that all our tests are using the same reusable method. Now, how can we optimize our Android test for a better performance and scalability? We can start by using RPM utils for device initialization. After we are done, we can simply implement efficient locators with our reusable methods. Then we can also handle permissions and alerts using a centralized mechanism. Now, how do we optimize iOS tests? We can easily start the optimization process by leveraging the RPM utils for iOS specific actions. Another optimization technique to keep in mind is to optimize test execution speed with efficient weights. Lastly, we can also centralize the handling of iOS alerts and permissions using a centralized method. Now it's time to cover the best practices for optimizing our tests. One of the best practices that we can start with is to always code your test script using a modular approach. This will enable you to organize your code and create an easy to follow test script. In addition, you can also consistently use RPM utils across different tests in order to standardize your approach. Then another best practice to keep in mind is to regularly update and refactor utilities in order to update the locators and all the elements of our mobile application for validity and error-free test execution. Finally, we need to monitor our test performance and optimize based on the output of our monitoring process.